success and failure in the corporate world is very much dependent on first impressions. And if someone meets an executive for the first time, that can often determine how far they'll go because they're not going to see that person very often. And, and if they leave a lasting positive memory, then that's a good thing. If the executive thinks, well, that person was waffling a bit, they weren't very self-confident, they didn't look me in the eye, and they didn't quite dress right, um, then you know it's going to be tougher. It, it raises this interesting question of what is the point of managing a first impression? And what I would say it is, is it is not that in that in those first few seconds you are communicating something meaningful and deeply accurate about who you are and what um and and your character and behavior and such i think what it is is you are allowing the people around you to get to the real you so you don't derail their impression of you with something that is distracting extraneous irrelevant so why do i why do i dress in a suit and stand up straight and have a firm handshake and look you in the eye and react politely to the things you say so that you don't get sidetracked by saying, oh, Malcolm seems ill at ease or Malcolm seems badly educated or Malcolm seems a little bit boorish or Malcolm seems... No, what you do is all those kinds of little tiny things allow the first impression to go by without incident. And it allows you to get a real crack at who I am.